Hey, yo! Yo! What's he? What's he doing out there? Huh. Wonder what he doing out there? Yo! You see me, right? You see me, right? I know you see me. You looking at me. I, I know you see me. Yo, let me let me pull out my phone and call this cat inside right quick. I don't think he hear me. I don't, I don't think he hear me. Who this? Yo, it's me. I know you see me outside, right? What, man? You you locked out of something, man? I mean, I'm, I'm sitting right here in front. I, I don't get it. You out there waving your hands and acting all crazy and shit? What, you, you locked out? Nah, bro. I just want to see who we calling this week. That's all. Just want to know. Uh, just want to know who we calling this week. Man, I'm not sure yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of looking through the suggestions right now. There's a lot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of them. Yo, I got one, and uh, he's been wanting to make this call for a while now, man. He's been asking you for a little bit on uh, making the call to this company, man. Okay, man, who who you got? Who you got for this week, man? And it better be good. I think it's called H.O. Holding. Uh, have you heard of that company before? I'm, I'm not familiar with this company, but this company uh, that, that they want us to call is suggested by Omar, man. You know, Omar been trying to get at you on this company for a little bit. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So we... we uh... You you thinking O or H O holding? I'm not hip to them, man. I H O holding, holding. Am I pronouncing that right? Holding. I I'm not hip to them, man. But you said it's a suggestion by Omar. Well, check it out, man. Omar is one of our one of our good commenters, man. So if he's been asking for this for a while, I think we need to I think we need to show him some type of appreciation and try to get them on the phone, man. All right, you know what we should do? You know what we should do? We should do what we do every week. We should make the call. Let's go. Welcome, everybody, to Lockout Men Mates, the call for you. Yes, I really do appreciate you guys being here today. That is what's up. Me, myself, and I decided to give this, uh, give, give the suggestions that you guys put in the, in the comments, in the Gmail, in the DMs. We go through them, and then we make the call for you guys. This week's call is to... Dup or H O holding, wolding, wolding, okay, wolding like wolding. <laughs> anyway, I probably might not come out, might not pronounce that. But remember that we remember that slang word that uh juvenile used to say wolding. I blood stream wolding, 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 wolding. Yo, Wody, y'all remember that? I, I, okay, I hope y'all remember that. But anyway, anyway, let's uh, let's uh, talk about it. Let's talk about W H Wolding. There we go. Let's talk about W H Wolding, a family-owned company with family values, delivering nationwide freight. They uh. Let's see. They got current. They currently have positions for OTR drivers, jobs for regional trucking jobs that allow drivers to balance their finance, uh, their financial goals with their hometown needs. 
we're not only offering trucking jobs, but we offer stable, preposterous careers within, I mean, preposterous, preposterous careers. Each driver works with an assigned driver manager who will work with the drivers to help them meet their mileage goals while still having a consistent home time. They offer $2,000 sign-on bonus. Now, the sign-on bonus they offer is for uh, new drivers that's coming out of school, but they actually offer $7,500, 70, 7500 dollars for an experienced driver all right so remember that i also i also put her on the spot with that question too you know what i'm saying a lot of companies that be offering a high number of sign on bonus you're going to want to know you are going to want to know what is the turnover rate <laughs> what's the driver turnover there why why are you offering seventy five hundred dollars if <laughs> If the turnover rate is is whatever it is you know what I'm saying so make sure you guys ask that all right they uh let's see what else they let's see what else they offer let's let's go here right quick let's see what else they offer uh, let's see let's go to the pay uh, they offer stop off loading and unloading detention short haul and they have a uh, safety or quarterly quarterly and annual safety and mileage bonus program all right so let's see something now she did mention that they do have a good csa score so let's go let's let's go let's go to the website let's peep it out right here oh Wolding inc they are located in western way amherst wisconsin the number of vehicles is 308 Number of drivers, 334. Mm. They got a lot of dri they got a lot more drivers than they do vehicles. But she did mention that they do run teams. So that could add in to like the team drivers as well. What I didn't ask, what I think I should have asked, I wonder do they do leasing? Huh. Well, guys, ask that when you talk to them. See if they do leasing. I I would assume that they do, but but being that this is by by the looks of it that this is a small company they might not do leasing i don't know they might not do leasing uh she do say that uh the their cs scores their csa scores is is a low 22 so that's a good one so yeah so with that with that make sure you guys go and uh Make sure you guys go and check them out. So let's get into this call that's already in progress. Oh, here we go. We got that call. All right. Hello. Hi, this is Jamie with H.O. Wolding. I think you were trying to get some information on a driving job. Oh yes, yes. Yeah, I yes. had a voice message with you saying a couple things, but I, I you didn't say your name. What's your name? Oh, my name's Sean. My name's Sean. Uh, Thank you. Right. Thank you for calling. Yeah. On. Thank you for calling back. I appreciate it. I was no trying. Problem. Yeah, I was trying to. I was trying to call. I called a few times, and I'm like, huh, yeah. I'm the only one there. here today, and I I was on the phone. I saw your call come through a couple times. So I knew I'd be calling you back once I was done. But oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, so what what how can I help you with? Where are you from? What kind of work are you looking for? Uh well I'm from uh I'm from Ohio. Uh I'm a four year driver and I was just basically calling to see what you guys uh had to offer. I was on the website and um and I see on the website that you know what you guys offer and I just have a I just have a few questions. So I mean if you got a little bit of time to yeah, to absolutely. entertain my questions, that would be mm -hmm. nice. Let's start with, I got a question for you. Where in Ohio do you live? Uh, I stay in Cleveland. Cleveland. Okay. It's a good yeah. area for us. Yes. It's this, it right. does say on the website that you guys offer Midwest uh, Midwest regional position, dri I mean, driving jobs. Yes, we do. Okay. Um, do you guys, well, let me ask you this because, you know, the, quest the questions that I'm about to ask you are, are usually are the same questions that everybody else will ask. And I'm in a I'm in a Facebook group as well, so we talk about a lot of truck driving companies. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, do you guys offer uh, CDL training on it of any kind? We do, yes. Um, you would have to be a recent graduate of CDL school, um, or if you have less than six months of either regional or over-the-road experience, then uh, we would send you through a, a short training program. It's uh, As a recent graduate, it's about five weeks. If you have some experience, it's really going to be based on how your abilities are. Okay, so you guys, so you guys offer training, uh, training for drivers that already graduated. But what about for drivers that's looking for getting their CDLs? Oh, okay. Unfortunately, no, we don't. We used to have a school back in the day, mm-hmm. but that was years ago. Um, we don't do any in-house training to help you get your CDL. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, all right, so you said Ohio is a good region for you. What's, uh, what, what other higher areas do you guys hire out of? Yeah, we actually we get into all 48. We do a lot of work through the Midwest and the Northeast. So really anywhere in between is a good spot. A lot of work along I-90. So what we do is with our freight mix, we have a lot of heavier lanes that run through the regions which create weekend home time, and it's, it's just a varied freight mix. So we don't do anything dedicated, which creates a lot of flexibility. Um, so it, it'd be easier if you told me an area and I told you if it worked or not, but I can tell you we pretty much do anything through the Midwest going down into northern Alabama. Uh, we do okay. any pretty much anywhere in upstate New York. Um, the, the Carolinas are good, centrally located in the Carolinas. Atlanta's a good spot. Um, okay. Minneapolis, Minnesota. So we do hire out of a lot of different areas of the country. Oh, okay, okay. The do, uh, do, do you guys have more than one terminal? Uh, I'm I'm assuming where. Well, I don't see it, but where's the main terminal located at? Yeah. So actually, our one and only terminal is in Amherst, Wisconsin. Okay. We're in a really small farming community, pretty much right in the middle of the state. Um, but we do hire all over, so everybody comes to that terminal for orientation. Oh, okay, okay, very good. Okay, so uh, do you guys have like uh, like drop areas and stuff like that, like you know, for like dropping hooks? Yeah. So w- some of our major customers, we do have preloaded trailers where it creates a lot of drop and hook. Mm-hmm. I'd say altogether, we're about seventy percent drop and hook. Uh, but in regards to parking, is we prefer that you take the truck home with you and park it either at home or somewhere secure close by, and your work weeks would start from there. Oh, so, okay. Okay, yeah, so we can't take the home. so we can't take the trust home. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, okay. Some companies they 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 don't allow us to uh, take the truck home, and that would probably that's a that's a big de- that's a big deal for me as well. Um, what about um, what about a sign-on bonus? Do you guys offer it, and how is it paid out? We do. It's, it's for an experienced driver, it's seventy five hundred dollars, and we will put five hundred on your first paycheck. After that, the rest is going to be divided out by miles. So every 30,000 miles is when you will see a payment. It's you get $1,750 every 30,000 miles. It ends up being about once a quarter that you see a payment. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So is it all is is it all paid out within that first year? It takes about a year. Yeah, pretty much you get that first 500, and then every quarter after that, so four times a year. Oh, okay, okay, okay. and it's 7,500, huh? Okay. Yeah, and there's there's no like stipulations or secret, the you know qualifying factors with it. If you get hired on, just a matter of hitting those mileage marks, then then you will um, be qualified to get those payments. Okay, awesome. Uh, for pre-employment, uh, for pre-employment testing. So, can do you guys offer us to take care of our pre-employment, uh, like drug like testing, physical? Phys- before we actually, no we will have you do that as a part of the orientation process oh, okay um during that four days you're going to have a physical there they will do a functional capacity test is really it's just a mock of the job so we're making sure you're capable of bending and getting up in the trailer and under the trailer to, to do your inspections um they're going to have you do a, a urine and a hair follicle drug test oh, so you have to provide hair for that yeah we do both we have for a while Okay, it's there. Well, let me ask you a question. What if have? Well, let me ask you this. Since you guys have been doing it for a while, have you guys ran into anybody that that been like like clean, underarms, pubic? Oh yeah, head? definitely. So during so, the interview process to get you signed up for orientation, we talk about that that drug test and 
Um, we basically tell you if you can't provide hair, there's no point in coming to orientation because we're going to Oh, gonna you. okay, so okay. Now, the, the clinic, they'll take the hair from anywhere. So, yeah, I've, I've, you know, I've had gentlemen tell me, you know, like, my wife likes me to have everything shaved. Right, So, you know, right. then, then i got to tell you, sorry, we're not the right company for you. Oh, so, man. You know, and, and we'll give you time to grow it out and come in when it <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, wow. Okay, yeah, that's, that, I was just about to ask you if you guys do hair follicles, but uh, oh, yeah, yeah. but we got uh, we got some gentlemen out here that's like clean. I mean, from yeah. top oh, to yeah. bottom. So, yeah. uh, dr- uh, so urine tests as well. So everything is done during the orient uh, during the orientation, right? So you say yeah. the orientation is four days. Four days. Yep, it goes Monday through Thursday. Do we get paid for those four days? If you're offered employment, yes, you'll get a payment of $250 for all four days. And then if there are any individuals that need to go out with a trainer, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, once you go out with a trainer, it is $100 each day. Oh, okay. Now let me ask you this. How would I get up there? I mean, how would you guys get me up there in, yeah. my, in my room and board? So it's pretty minimal cost. We will offer you a prepaid Greyhound bus ticket to yeah. get here. If you didn't want to take that, you have the option to rent a car and drive or fly. <laughs> Okay. You'd have to pay for it up front, but bring us the receipt for everything, gas, okay. tolls, rental. We'll okay. pay you back everything for it. Oh, okay. And when you're here, uh, we have a, we're in a really small town, so there's no hotels here. But we've got a bunkhouse on site you can stay at, or we have an account with a hotel about 15 miles away. We'll pay for you to stay in a hotel if you'd like. Oh, okay, okay. All right, cool. And the hotel will be me in the hotel, No, nobody else, right? I don't right. have to share you in your own room. Yep. Oh, okay, okay, all right, um, all right. So while we on uh, on the requirements and everything, what do you, what, what's your guys' policies on um, on felons and drivers with uh, DWIs or DUIs? Yeah, so DUIs we prefer. Uh, well, we don't prefer. They need to be at least five years old, mm-hmm. and we only allow one in a lifetime. Oh, okay, now, okay. Now, say if an individual had one from the 80s, you know, had two from the 80s, that's a little different because it's so far back. And in that case, we would have the application reviewed. Um, and then as in regards to, like, felonies, misdemeanors, we like misdemeanors to be about five years old, felonies, um, 10. But they're, those are circumstantial. So there's a few, you know, anything uh, violent or sexual in nature are are pretty much automatic disqualifiers. Right. But anything else is reviewable. So um, it just depends on the circumstance, and we're going to take everything into account in regards to motor vehicle report, work history, you know, location. So not just not based off the criminal background. Okay. Okay. Um, I have my I I got my DLT medical card already. Do I gotta Do I gotta turn around and get another one through you guys? Yeah, that's actually a part of the physical process. So they'll okay. they'll they'll reissue you a newer, updated one, and that's yours to keep when we pay for that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So um, we do get paid. Well, if you if we get offered the job now, if we don't get offered the job or we got to leave for whatever reason, that will be our. It will be up to us to get back home, and we don't get paid, right? You won't get paid for the orientation, but we will get you home. So it'll oh, be a okay. bus ticket. Um, or if you wanted to fly or rent a car, we'll pay you up to the bus ticket. So yeah, we're definitely gonna help you get home. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And this is this is in Wisconsin. I, I drive through Wisconsin a lot. Um, yeah. The we have um, snow on the ground today. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. It's 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 that time of year. You know, everybody. Yeah. It's too early. What do you I know. About? It's not that time of year yet. <laughs> it's too early. <laughs> uh, so as far as the training of of mm-hmm. the drivers that comes out of that comes out of school, right? So how about you guys, trainers? How how long they been training? Yeah. So we have a company policy. You have to have been with our company for at least a year. So it not only. You know, they have to have at least a year of driving because they'll have been with our company, but usually they have much more experience than that. Um, And we've got trainers all over, um, a lot in the Northeast, a lot in Wisconsin. Um, Mm -hmm. Some are regional, some are OTR. So Mm -hmm. we try to match you up with the type of trainer doing the same type of work that you're coming on board for. Oh, okay. So, yeah, like, you know, when I first started four years ago, uh, I was an OTR driver, but my first trainer was a uh was a was a dedicated driver has okay. nothing to do with what i was getting into so mm-hmm. the the 
the marriage between me and him wasn't all that great, so I had to I sure. had to divorce. Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, we we understand sometimes personalities just don't match. We have right. no problem trying to match up with somebody else. And, you know, all of our trainers, very, they're, in my opinion, I've met most of them, really great guys, very accommodating. Okay. And we don't do any, we don't do any team tra- training. Or, or, well, I misspoke there. We don't do any team driving during the training period. Okay. So nobody, nobody sleeps while the other's driving. Right. The trainer log all of the same miles. They're there to be your coach and mentor and get you ready to be in your truck on your own. So okay. there'd, there'd be no purpose in, in one sleeping while the other's driving. Copy that, copy that, because there was yeah. there was a there was a story of a of a trucking company that just recently got hit with a lawsuit because the trainer didn't properly train the trainee right. So yeah, that's that's a that's a good thing. Um, so do you guys uh? You you mentioned you know the different uh, the different region you know regional OTR, yeah. but do you guys have like other like like different divisions like do you guys have reefer? Uh, no, well I do like so we we pretty much got all van. Um, we have a few teams that drive for us that pull reefers going down into the west coast so into oregon and california right but only a couple there's there's not a whole lot it's all primarily van also no touch we don't do any hazmats you don't need any endorsement oh, okay so what if what if i get my hazmat while i'm working there would you guys reimburse me for it no unfortunately we wouldn't i mean those are always good to have but you don't need them for us so, so we don't reimburse it okay so do we get uh do we get paid uh detention? What's what's the detention the Yeah, the, yep. Detention? Twenty dollars. It's twenty dollars an hour after two hours. Okay. Uh, layovers, how often layovers happen? Uh <clears throat> not very often. I, I can tell you that some of our paper customers you've got a little bit of a wait time. I've i I've heard up to six to eight hours, but your detention Jeez. pay would kick in. As for layovers you know, anything after a 24-hour period is going to be $50, and then after two days, it's 100 and I can tell you I've never heard of anybody being laid over that long, okay. because what they would do is just find you something else to get you out of there. You know, whether they T-call you or somebody drops a trailer close by, you pick that up and get moving. Okay. Um, it, it's just not a, a regular thing for us. All right. Hold on for a second. Give me a hot second. There we go. All right. Um, what's all right? So I'm on. So I'm reading on the website that you guys, uh, but by the website it shows two different amounts. One says that we can earn up to fifty three point five, and then right here at the bottom it says up to forty eight. So what's the starting CPM there? Yeah. So the the, the larger number is going to be the total with the bonuses that you're eligible for. So as a recent graduate, the base rate is 38. Um, our top rate for seven years experience is 48. And throughout that time, you're still eligible for the five and a half cent bonus, no matter how much experience you have. So how, the breakdown for that is the top tier of our mileage bonus is four and a half cents. In order to achieve that, you have to average at least 2,300 miles per week. Right. If you do, then at the end of the quarter, they'll total up your miles. You'll get a bonus check at four and a half cents for every mile driven. Okay. So uh, that so, other that other penny is the safety bonus, mm-hmm. and same thing. They'll total up your miles as long as you are accident free and make it in for your quarterly safety meeting. Then mm-hmm. you'll get a bonus check for all miles a penny. All right. So, so that's where that fifty three and a half comes in. Oh, okay. Okay. So I'm a four year driver. So would I get forty eight cent? So, nope, you'd have to have seven years of experience to get that 48. You would come in at 44 as your base rate, and that's for practical miles, which is about 5% more than zip-to-zip or hub-to-hub miles. Okay. Um, and then on top of your 44 cents, you have that 5.5 cent bonus that's based off of how many miles you run and safe driving. Oh, okay. So, I, I, you know, if, if I was trying to sell you on coming on board with us, I'd say you're going to make 44 cents. That's what you're going to see week to week. Right, that's what I want. Yeah, I don't want you to... Yep. Yeah, yeah, I definitely don't want, don't want you to tell me. Don't want me to know about the the high end first, because when I come in thinking I'm getting the high end, and then all of a yeah. sudden, it's yep. the low end now, that I'm getting. 
the bonuses are, are super achievable. I'd say about 80% of our drivers hit it. It's not like we've got these crazy bonuses out there that nobody hits. So that five and a half cents is really pretty easy to achieve. You would let your driver manager know like, hey, I'm, I'm trying to hit that four and a half cent bonus every every quarter. So keep me running, give me, give me an update on my miles so I know where I'm at because what they'll do is they'll take all your miles for the quarter and you have to average, and you're, I don't expect you to remember this number, but 29,751 will give you that 45 cent bonus. Or oh. not 45, four and a half cent bonus. Oh, okay, okay. Awesome. All right, so do you guys, uh, just so the, ba- the, so the pay is based on straight miles then, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. That's- so when I come in, I probably might be broke. So mm-hmm. do you guys offer uh, pay, weekly pay advances? We do, yep. Uh, oh, okay. Once you are hired on, you can take up to $100. Oh, okay. Per diem, is it offered or is it mandatory? It is offered, and it's only going towards our mileage paid positions. Oh, okay. Okay, so so I want to say it's mandatory. It is not mandatory. Oh, it's not mandatory. Okay, okay. You guys offer vacation and holiday pay? With the, having four years of experience, yes. Um, you'll qualify for two weeks of paid vacation after being on board for one year. And then for the vacation pay, same thing. You have to be on board for a year before you qualify for that. We have, I want to say five, five paid holidays at a flat rate of $80 each. Okay. Even if we, even if we work the holiday, we still get that holiday pay? Sorry, it's six paid holidays. And okay. yes, even if you work, you're going to get your pay and the holiday pay on top of that. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, it says here, or looks on the on the website, uh, you guys pay for stop pays, right? Stop off. Yeah, we don't have much freight that is multiple stop, but if we do, then then we have it. And I want to say first one's free, and then it's pretty much like ten, twenty dollars after that. So you know, example, second one would be twenty, third would be thirty, fourth oh, would okay. be forty. But we we really don't have much freight that that does uh, that, that that'll do that. Um, loading and unloading, we we get paid for that too. Uh, we we're about ninety eight percent touch free. It, I don't even I can't even tell you what customer we have where you would unload anything. If you did, you would. But otherwise, it's typically the customer that's gonna do that for you. Oh, okay. That's oh, okay. So the loading and unloading, if if we touch the freight, we would yeah. get we would get paid. Okay. All right, so you already mentioned that you guys don't uh, don't do uh, don't do hazmat, but uh, what benefits uh, what benefits do you guys offer like health? What what kind of benefits? Yeah. So you'll be eligible for the benefits after being on board one full calendar month. Then you'll be eligible for health, dental, um, or medical, dental, and vision. It is through um, Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield, Delta Dental, and Superior Vision you will be offered a $25,000 life insurance policy that Waldings will pay for. You have the option to upgrade that if you'd like. Um, We've got um, other optional programs in regards to like non-taxable medical savings Mm -hmm. like HSA and daycare accounts. Okay. Um, What else do we have? There's other incentives for safe driving as well. So if you were to go accident free for a year, there's a cash bonus at the end of the year, $50. It just doesn't sound like much, but with each year that doubles, mm-hmm. and it caps out at five years. Mm-hmm. If you were to go five years accident free, you get an extra week of paid vacation. Okay. And um, let's see, I know that and this may be minor, but as an employee, you get a discount through Verizon for your cell phone if okay. you were to be with them. Yeah, I, think I was we about offer to tuition reimbursement for recent graduates, so we'll help pay back the tuition. Okay. I was about to ask. Uh, I was about to ask that about the cell phone because uh, a comment that was made, uh, and it got me to thinking when I started uh, when I when I be you know vetting companies that I'm that I'm interested in or somebody else is interested in. We use our cell phones uh, via with the company, like you know, the company will call us for whatever case you know dispatch purposes information purposes and stuff like that and being that we use our cell phones you know one of the drivers felt that it was kind of not fair 
not getting reimbursed for it because we paying you know we paying our cell phone bill but but we still using our cell phones for company purposes and not getting reimbursed for it so yeah we maybe we offer that discount but you have to go through verizon to get it okay um and we've got a strict no no phone policy while you're on the road obviously um not even a a hands-free while you're driving Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, a couple other things. We don't have any cameras. <laughs> okay. And um, all of your your messaging should be through the Qualcomm system that's going to be in your truck. Right. So they've got the settings on there where it could read the messages to you. Um, so when you get a message in, you could see it right away. But yeah, we've got a pretty strict policy with that. Okay. Okay. That's that's cool. Now I was about to I was about to ask later on about the camera, but thank you for bringing that up. Bringing that up. So you don't have there's no drive no no drive cams in the trucks at all. Correct. Oh, okay. So how many miles I can average a week? Um, it says here on the website that I can average about uh, twenty five to twenty nine. So. Yeah, is that, is that about a fair accurate? If, if you're running regional, it really ranges anywhere 2,000 to maybe 2,600. And that's that's if you're looking to get home every weekend. Uh, if you're going to run OTR and be out in that truck for a few weeks at a time, you know, we've got some that run 2,000. We have some that run 3,500. Now, the one that runs 3,500 is never home, and he's constantly letting us run. Running, yeah. You know, you know pre- I'm ready. I'm ready for the next, you know, give just keep me running. So there, there's a definitely um, some flexibility in there, and we're we're not the type of company to, you know, if you only run 2,000 miles, to call you the following week and be like, what the heck, you know, you're supposed to be at 2,500. Mm-hmm. If you're if you're happy with the money you're making and our truck is being profitable, mm-hmm. then then we're happy. So we have some teams that only run 2,200 miles between the two of them because that's that's what they like, okay. and, and the truck still makes money. So we're we're flexible. All right, so it says here that you guys that you guys offer home on weekends, and that's for the regional drivers, right? Yes. Yep. What's the what's the, what how how what's the what's the average length that I can take off? Like what's like I know for like two days, but can I take off an extra an extra two days? Can I can yeah. I do that? So you prefer running OTR pretty much every week that you're out, you get a day, but we are flexible. If you need a couple of days off, uh, you know, in addition to what you've earned, it's, it's typically not a big deal as long as it doesn't happen every time. Mm-hmm. Now you can stay out longer to accumulate six, seven days off if, if that's what you want to do regularly. Mm-hmm. Um, but we're, we're pretty flexible when it, when it comes to getting you home for, you know, all the normal doctor's appointments and, and things like that. And then also for the fun stuff, because we don't want you to be missing out on family events or right. you know anything like that because you're a driver oh, okay so. i only have a i only have a few more questions and i do appreciate that uh the time that you're giving me thank you very yeah, much no uh do you guys reimburse for scales tolls and parking uh parking it, it's really kind of scenario based we won't uh, pay for parking when it's on your home time but if you're out on the road and you know, the only parking you can find is a truck stop that you charge. Yeah, you can turn that in for reimbursement. Oh, okay. Um, in your truck, you're going to have the the pre-pass mm-hmm. for tolls. Mm-hmm. Uh, scales, that I'm not sure on. I, I can't imagine that's something you'd have to pay for. Um, if you did, typically you would turn that in for reimbursement. Uh, for reimbursement. Can, what now, kind of a fee would you be getting charged at a scale? Uh, like... Not 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 the weight scales. I'm talking about when we go and weigh the truck at the at the cat scale. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, no. Yeah. You, it, it, if if by chance you did pay it out of pocket, you would turn that in for me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, can can we run the tolls? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Because some companies don't allow don't allow you to run the tolls. Um, we already talked about home time. Um, what's the uh? What's the uh, pet and rider policy there? We have both. Uh, once you come on board, we ask that you drive two months accident free uh, before you take either. Spouse can go with year round. Anybody else? It's just during the good weather months that we have them go with you. Okay. So basically, just not in the you know in the deep of winter. Um, for pets, it is one cat or one dog. Uh, they like a refundable security deposit first. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, under 36 pounds, it's 500. Over 36, it's 1,000. 
they're only going to ask that you put 250 up front. Once you have that paid, you can take your pet with you, and then they'll take $50 out of each paycheck until that full amount is in. Okay. And then if you decide to leave or get upgraded equipment, as long as there's no damage, then you would get that full amount back. All right. Well, let me ask you this. Like, if I, if for whatever reason that the marriage between me and uh, W, what is it? H.O. Between me and H.O. is not all that gravy and I decide to divorce. Do we get uh, do we get anything taken out of our paycheck for uh, for for any reason like mm, clean? The only thing. Yeah. I mean, they're going to require that you clean up the truck, turn right. it in at the terminal. Right. You know, there's certain things that you'll have to turn in. Right. You're only going to get charged if there's something you didn't give to us that you should have. OK. Um, and, and then also, if you know, if they find there's any damage or anything like that in the truck that that is not justified, if that makes sense. Oh, okay. So, no, and, and I've never heard of anybody having to pay for gotcha. anything. Now, I hate to put you on the spot right here, but you did mention the fact that you said that you did mention seventy five, seventy five hundred dollars for mm-hmm. uh, for a sign on bonus for yeah. uh, experienced drivers. What's the driver turnover there? Actually, we've got really low turnover for the industry. Mm -hmm. We're about 40%. um, And we have, I mean, the company's been around a long time. It's family owned and operated. It's been run by the last four generations. And um, I know everybody probably says that, but it really is like family. My boss is the founder's great grandson. So we've got a lot of long term drivers. We've got a handful of four million mile safe drivers, uh-huh. uh, even more three million, and then just tons of one million mile drivers. So, in general, forty percent is our turnover, which is extremely low for the industry. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess the last thing I need to talk about is the the truck itself. So, what uh, what type of equipment that you guys offer? Yep, we've got all Freightliner Cascadias. The average age is about two and a half years old. I think the oldest we've got is a 2014. Okay. It's about a 50-50 split for the manuals and automatics. Everything is upkept here at our in-house shop, and everything is also under warranty. So anything major that would go wrong, it'd go right back to truck country. Okay. Um, they, I hate saying this, but it's true. It's very basic equipment, but very well-maintained, clean, and safe. Okay. We don't have... Um, they don't have APUs. Okay. We do have inverters here to sell that our shop will, in, it, it will, that our shop will install at no charge. Um, you're going to have your GPS system in there with the, the with Qualcomm. With Qualcomm, right. Yep. No, I think that's about it. So it's just... There, uh, just uh, all double bunk sleepers. Just, uh, oh. just the two seats in the steering wheel, huh? <laughs> seats in the steering wheel. And, 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 the bump and a bump bed. But, yeah. Our newest trucks coming in have refrigerators, but they, we don't have enough of them for me to say, yes, our trucks have refrigerators. Oh, okay. And probably might not have enough for the new people that come in anyway for it, because I'm assuming the the people that been there is going to get first dibs on it, right? Yeah. I and mean, that's typically how it goes. And, mm-hmm. and we turn them over pretty quickly. And we've got a bunch out in the yard that are new that have not been assigned yet. So, oh, okay. you know, new guys coming in are usually starting in the older models. And mm-hmm. then once they hit a certain mileage, they get that opportunity to, to upgrade and get into an automatic if they like or, okay. or just a newer piece. Okay, 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 okay. Cool, cool, cool. So, uh, so that pretty much answers my other question. So, there's no amenities. Uh, and you already said there's no driver cam. So, what's, what's the truck governed at? Governed at 65. And I do, I should tell you that it comes with the, the on guard. I, I believe oh, that's the, the, uh, the, if you leave a lane, it'll beep. And if you get close yeah. to, uh, get close so, to another vehicle, it'll beep. Yeah. It'll okay. break automatically if you're too close to what's in front of you, um, which is a pain, but it has has dramatically reduced the amount of, of accidents that our trucks have gotten into. So, And, and for some, that's a deal, a deal breaker. A lot of the senior drivers that we talk to, mm-hmm. that on-guard system is just a deal breaker for them. They can't Yeah, some, some of them feel it's a pain in the ass, though, for yeah. real. So, we're a very safe company, um, but, very yeah, very low CSA score, if you're familiar with that. We've got a yes. CSA score of 22, and it's been right around that number for the last few years. Okay, that's uh, that's awesome. All right, well, um, what's your name again? I, I forgot that. Quick. My name's Jamie. Jamie, and thank you. There's just three of us down here, so if you happen to call back and want some more information, 
you'll get myself, Joe, or Ken, and any one of us can help you out. All right. Well, thank you very much, ma'am. I really do appreciate the time. Oh, this sorry. sounds like a very interesting company, um, uh, and I will. I if you are, but, I, uh, I, call me back if you have any questions. I'm going to let you go. I will. Bye. I will. Thank you. And there you have it. There you go, Omar. There you go. For you, buddy. For you, man. For you, man. For you. What's the name of this damn company again? <laughs> oh, my God. I forgot the name already. But it is H.O. Holding, Inc. What do you guys think about that car and that information? Woo! I like that information. Kind of cool. The best part of the call, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you guys, the best part of the call, in my opinion, no cameras in the truck. That is the best part of the call. But unfortunately, being that they don't have no cameras in the truck, but they got the bandit system. So the bandit system is a pain in the ass, but still no cameras in the truck. That's better than most. So, again, what do you guys think of that call? This company, H.O. Holding. Holding. I got a string holding. 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 Okay. Let's talk about them for a minute. Let's talk about them. They uh, offer practical mile, $7,500 sign-on bonus, 2,300 to 3,500 miles potential each week up to 48 cent now it's up to 48 cent but the base pay for experienced drivers with less than seven years is 44 uh drivers that's coming out of school is i think she said 36 if i'm not mistaken so home on weekends if you run regional uh and they of course the eld system via car comp um, I don't need to go into the uh, experience. They only want six. So this is a uh, they, this is a van division. They got a little bit of um, they got a little bit of a uh, reefer, but not as much. Not as much. So and this is for the regional position. I I, I tried to find something else, but I tried to. Uh, I tried to find something else. So let's go about the company. Uh, they, you know, let's see. There it is, available jobs. All right, so available jobs. They got the regional, southeast, uh, southwest, midwest, northeast. You know what I didn't mit mention? I forgot to ask if they... Uh, if they're forced dispatch company i'm going to assume they are but by the sounds of the conversation me and her was having it didn't sound like it was a it was forced dispatch i don't think it was forced dispatch um they do appleton bremerton birmingham buffalo cedar rapids and yeah <laughs> all of these cities right here and then they do run OTR and they do have team. So if you guys, if you guys are interested in HO holding, 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 holding. Somebody help me pronounce it in the in the comments below, please. Anyway. Uh, if you guys is interested, make sure you give them a call and uh, and and talk to one of their nice recruiters, man. Nice call, great information, um, and she pretty much answered all all of the questions. So I am going to have to give this. Um, I'm going to have to give it a. I'm going to have to give it an eight. I'm going to have to give it an eight. What do you guys think? You know, rate rate the calls. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's start doing that. Going into 2020, rate the call. Rate the call. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. So I, right now, I'm going to give this call an eight. So good information. She answered all the questions. She was, she was pretty much upbeat and kept the conversation going. I like it. Well, that is it. I am glad that you guys was able to 
come along with me on this call. So if you guys like this call and any other videos that I produce, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, and hit that bell for more videos like this and more comments or content like this. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, next time, get your suggestions in now. Who you want me to call next? Me, myself, and I will get it done for you. All right. This is Lockout Man. And I am out.